Today we're making a smoothie bowl. A peanut butter and jelly smoothie bowl. Without peanuts. So it's gonna be extra healthy and extra delicious. Hi, I'm Melissa West and welcome to Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa. I'm here today with my friend Christine from Christine Salas. You have to go and check out her channel. And today she is here to make a smoothie bowl for us. So I am going to hand it over to her because she is the smoothie bowl creative <laughs> genius today. I love what you come up with. So thank you. Yes, I'm happy to be in charge of the smoothie bowl today. <laughs> I'm obsessed with smoothie bowls. I eat one like pretty much every single day and I like vary it a little bit, but I have like a certain combination that I just love. So I'm going to make it for you and I hope that you love it too. And I hope I'm you excited. guys all love it too. <laughs> so like I said, it's going to be peanut butter and jam or jelly, whatever. Um, but today I'm not going to be using peanut butter. I'm going to be using um, pumpkin seed butter which the roasted kind I find it tastes a lot like peanut butter similar like flavor um, if you can totally use normal peanut butter if you want to it's just that a lot of people are sensitive to peanuts so I just thought oh, we'll just make the peanut butter with a uh, make the recipe with like a peanut butter alternative but go ahead and use regular peanut butter if you like regular peanut butter and this is so much healthier for you than it it is butter. yeah like it like has better and fats in it yeah. and I there's uh, more protein less fat actually a little more fiber more vitamins and minerals it's just a higher quality fat in my opinion mm -hmm. although there's nothing inherently wrong with peanuts but I'm gonna we're gonna do this yeah. one today yeah so for the jam aspect of it we're gonna use berries I think we've got a is that just raspberries or just is it mix yeah perfect raspberries we're gonna use um, bananas frozen bananas as a base with some protein powder and some almond milk and then we're gonna top it with something chocolatey and something kind of crispy and crunchy we're gonna use some uh, Bikinis or sprouted dried buckwheat. That'll be kind of like the bread portion of the smoothie bowl because you got to have like the peanut butter, you got to have the jam, you got to have the bread. So that's going to be like the bread portion. So are you ready? You want to get this started? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I usually put the liquid in the blender first. That's kind of a thing to do. So everything kind of blends up properly. So I usually put in about a cup of almond milk. It's handy that there's a little measuring thing on there. And then... Oh, maybe I'm going to convert you to Blendtec. <laughs> I don't think so. Does, does Vitamix yours? for life. <laughs> does yours have measuring on it? It does, it oh, does. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I'm just putting the bananas. Oh. oh. <laughs> How much bananas? Uh, well, it depends how hungry you are. Usually, <laughs> I'll put in about three bananas or... Well, if it's a snack, like three bananas, yeah, just depends how, how hungry you are and how okay. much other stuff you're going to put in. And then um, I usually use about a tablespoon of peanut butter or whatever butter we're using. So I'll just drop that in there. Maybe get in there. Maybe a little more since there's two of us. We're going to have to share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you don't have to put in protein powder, but I just, I like the way protein powder tastes. And I like, I feel like it gives it sort of like a cakey cake batter yeah. texture and flavor to it. Kind of thickens it up and just, I don't know, I think it tastes better with it. It so. would probably lower the glycemic index of the smoothie bowl too, yeah, right? Yeah, it would. would be a lot of sugar in the... Mm, in the fruit, in yeah. The fruit, yeah. Which is good but like also the protein will keep you satisfied for right. a bit longer, longer if yeah. yeah if you find that fruit just kind of like moves through you really quickly and then you're hungry again so this will keep you full longer okay so I don't know how to use the blend tech so I'm gonna oh, get you, you. to um, press the button maybe there's a smoothie bowl yeah. um, okay so we want it sort of more um, so whole foods Light juice, whole juice, frozen fruit, yogurt. So that would be a good setting. See, we have settings on the blend. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's too complicated for me. I just want to turn it on and blend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we've got the base all blended and you can pour it into your bowl. didn't do that very evenly. That's okay. That smells <laughs> really good. 
I know, it totally tastes, it smells like cake batter. That's always what I Yeah, it does smell think, like cake right? batter. It does. That's why I love that protein <laughs> powder. It's so good. Okay, so I'm going to give you the big bowl. No, I'll have the small one. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't usually eat bananas, okay. actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, so here are your berries. So now you can just decorate it how you want. I usually just plunk it in and just like let it kind of like melt around with the bananas. So just stick it in. Just like that. And then my favorite toppings to add are the um, buckwheat and for me the cacao nibs, but you have carob there? I have carob, yeah. yeah. So the, the banana is also because of migraine. So I have cacao, uh, carob also because of migraine. So, yeah. Okay, so okay. go ahead and just sprinkle some on there for yourself. How much do you put on? As much as you want. <laughs> it looks so good. You can totally see they're sprouted. Mm -hmm. I just sprouted these. Um, well, I just finished drying them this morning. So they're just fresh out of the dehydrator. dehydrator. Yeah. Nice. And then, um, yeah, you can add some, if you like little chunks of chocolate, which who doesn't like chocolate, you can add some chocolate. So I just like to use cacao nibs because they're the most kind of like unprocessed version of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. So and if you can't have chocolate, I, that's why I'm adding cacao or carob. carob. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for people who are really sensitive to stimulants, um, there's caffeine in cacao, so maybe that would be a better choice. And that's it. I think it looks pretty good. Looks so healthy and yummy. Okay, time for the best part of the video, in my opinion. <laughs> taste test. Yes. I'm gonna let you try it first since okay. I know what this you tastes know what like. This tastes yeah. Like. Okay. I'm curious if it tastes peanut buttery. Tastes more like cake batter. Yeah. I like that. Mmm. I like the how the berries are sour and the mm -hmm, sweet. And yeah. The, yeah. The sweet mm -hmm. and the sour, and then the bitter of the chocolate. Mm. Good taste, taste mix. I love frozen berries. Mm. And the sprouted buckwheat. Mm. Nice crispiness. You know what? We could have added more nut butter to this, yeah. but I can taste like a hint of it. If you want it Not to be stronger, strong. yeah. I would add a couple tablespoons. But um, You can play around with that. Mm -hmm. Mm, I could sit here and eat this all day. Mm hmm It's like, you know what I love this? Because it's like, it tastes like dessert. And it tastes like something, like a treat, right? But mm -hmm. it's like, it's completely healthy. And I love eating this way because I can just eat something that's so, like, decadent and, like, dessert-like mm -hmm. for lunch or for breakfast or for dinner. And mm -hmm. I eat like you don't feel guilty about it at all, on, you know? This so. would be a good thing to, because it's back to school time, to mm -hmm. make for your kids to before they go to school totally mm -hmm. yeah it'd be a great breakfast yeah. for your kids and because yeah. it looks so visually appealing mm -hmm. too. oh yeah what kid wouldn't like that right. it looks gorgeous right yeah i think that helps when you're making food for your kids i used to get a lot of questions about that about what to, oh really yeah make my kid for school yeah kids are all about presentation right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they could even if they like if you made them the base mm -hmm. and put out a few toppings then then let them top then, it yeah, themselves that, that would be would, awesome yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely go over and check out Christine's channel. We'll put a link below so you can go and check it out because you, you make lots of food on your channel. I've got lots of recipe videos, what I eat in a day, workout videos, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see more videos with Christine and I, let me know in the comments because Christine lives in Victoria too. So we have, we have plans, but let us know what you would like to see. Definitely. And... Uh, yeah, we're, I'm going to be filming a yoga video for your piece. Yeah, so excited to yeah. share some yoga but with we were, some of my video. We <laughs> were supposed to do that today, but the rain got to yep. us, so you, get a, you got a smoothie bowl instead. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.